Okay, uh, I'm at 6 Armand Drive, which is my own house, and today I'm going to show you how to do a alarm test without opening your alarm box. And it's raining outside, but I'm going to do this test entirely inside. Uh, I have uh, filled up a bathtub with uh, up to the overflow level of my bathtub, which is between 25 and 30 gallons. And I have turned off the power using this 30 amp breaker in my house to my grinder pump. Then I let the water down into the pump. So the pump now has that 25 to 30 gallons of water, which will bring it up to the alarm level. But the alarm can't go off and the pump can't run because the breaker is off. When I turn on the breaker, the alarm should sound this, and the pump will start running. That'll, that's the test. Uh, I'm inside in my garage, actually, and we might not hear it that well, but let's try it. There it is. That is my alarm test. Now, it'll probably take about two minutes for that, um, for my pump to pump out the excess water and bring that so that the alarm goes off. And I'm going to go upstairs where I have a window that I can look out at my grinder pump and I will be able to verify that the alarm light is working which uh, you can see right there that is the grinder pump in alarm okay but of course this is just a test here is the bathtub that I use this is what I would call a very normal bathtub and I use this uh, bucket uh, I filled it up to two gallons, and I used this just to check on the uh, volume of this bathtub. If you had a very large bathtub, <clears throat> I don't know, a hot tub, you would not want to use that for this test because that would put more water into your system. You'd bring it well past the alarm level, and you don't want to do that. You only want <clears throat> 25 to 30 gallons. So on mine, the overflow level is right there. That turns out to be about 28 gallons or so, and that's that's ideal for this test because you want to make sure that you get it up to the alarm level. <clears throat> if you start off the test and it's at 24 gallons, and you add 25 gallons, that brings you up to 49 gallons. 47 gallons is the alarm level. You want to make sure that you're over the alarm level. Okay, that looks like, uh, you can tell from the time on this, that that was about two minutes. The alarm has, the siren has gone off, and the alarm has gone off, and that's actually now an indication uh, of the pump down time on my system. It was about two minutes, uh, it was pumping about 20 gallons, because that's what it takes to go from the alarm on, to, before it gets back down to the alarm off level. And um, this is actually a pretty simple way to test your grinder pump. You, you don't have to go outside, you don't have to open the control box. Uh, I've finished the test, my breakers are back on, everything's ready to go. Um, and that is for people who have a basement bathroom, for people who have already had a backup, your alarm is what will keep you from having another backup. This is a way to periodically check that your alarm is working. Normally, of course, the alarm doesn't go off, it doesn't tell you that it's working but you want to know that it's working. So that's all for today. Thanks.